the host of Late Night with Seth Myers and also the host of this year's NFL Honors Awards uh, on Saturday night, tomorrow night on NBC. Seth Myers here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, Great sir. to see you again. It'll be the sec first of two times I introduce you uh, before the radio audience comes back. You were looking at my Eisen elixirs here yes. on uh, the uh, table. And I saw Dr. Uh, Dr. Barcavius Mingo's Love Oil. Yes. Daniel Radcliffe of Harry Potter frame was on our show, and yes. he told me that it's his, I think it's the name of his fantasy football team. It's He's a huge football fan. That I know. I've, yeah. I, 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 I one time hosting an NFL draft on NFL Network in Radio City Music Hall, looked up beyond the lights in the mezzanine, and I'm like, that sure looks like Harry yeah. Potter. And it's, he was there. Yeah, he loves football. He loves American football. And um, it's really, Barcavius Mingo's a great name, even better with a British accent. <laughs> a proper <laughs> British accent. Yeah, and this one's my favorite, though. It's Cutler's, Cutler's tincture, of tincture, is tincture, tincture, tincture of apathy. Of apathy. It's very nice. Yeah. Very well done. That goes, yeah. We got uh, Gino fuel that's empty. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, we got this one. Here, you're, steer, you're a Steeler fan, so you like Tomlin's, that Tomlin's uh, staring ointment. Yeah. Very good. Got to keep, keep the eyes dry. Yes. Uh, not dry, wet. Yeah. It's, a, it's a constant application. It's very, so. very nice. Yeah, see? We're just, there's eau de Bortles. Great. And then uh, just in time for the Super Bowl, BB's deflating powder. Perfect. And when, Perfect. We, and when we come back with the radio audience, uh, we're, we will hit deflate gate. I I'm sure you Let's, will. by all means. <laughs> and by, by all means. And by hit it, I mean directly. Drive it into the ground? Well, no, with a, with a hammer on top of the football. Gotcha. Like, literally hit it. Last nail in the coffin or, on it? Yeah. No, yeah. I, you know what? I don't think there's ever going to be a coffin no. or a nail on that thing. I don't think so either. Seth Myers is here on the Rich Eisen Show. We will be back with more in a moment. He is the host of Late Night with Seth Myers and also the host of this year's NFL Honors Awards presentation that's tomorrow night on NBC from Symphony Hall in downtown Phoenix at 9 Eastern time. Seth Myers, good to see you. Good to be back. I had a total blast when I came on your show prior it was to the so draft. so much fun. Where you had me essentially run through the draft with facts about draftees. Little known facts. Yeah. I forget, like somebody once wore flip flops with socks yes. or something like that. We were Jake, ahead of the curve. Jake yeah. Matthews, I think. Yeah, it was Jake yeah. Matthews. Yeah, was Jake Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Chris Law came there and you were all psyched to be that in the back. I'd love to make it an annual thing because you are a draft guy, so. Well, I'd be, I, would, okay. I would be honored to be your draft guru. Although, if, when, where's the draft? It's, it's not, in Chicago. Okay. But so I'll we'll make have a special to do it. Trip. We'll have to do it the week before. Yeah, I'll make okay. a special right, trip. But only if you use the word guru. We can happily in, give you guru. In the conversation. If that's what you need, whatever it needs. I will take it. I will take it. So, uh, deflate gate, Seth. Yes. In, for, rank it from, from uh, a big, fat, juicy target to manna from heaven. Where oh. does that rank for comedy writing? It's great. I mean, you? to have a silly story yeah. that a lot of people have opinions about when you're putting together a monologue for something like this is yes. great. I, you know, as a scandal, I don't care that much about it. I don't, um, and I don't particularly care for the Patriots, but I can't sort of get my <laughs> anger up about this one. Um, right. It is great how in New York now everyone's an expert on how many pounds of pressure it needs to be. Oh, gosh. Because yeah. if it's any more or less, it's just not football. Yeah, because <laughs> if people from Queens to the Bronx and Staten yeah. Island, you know, they, th they thought PSI was a show on CBS. Yes, exactly. Now it's a totally different story. <laughs> totally different story. Right? And, 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 of course, if you give the Daily News and or the New York Post license to use the word balls yeah. in a headline, and, and, they're yeah. going to take it. it they took like. it right away. It's, that's, <laughs> it is like a headline generator from the New York Post decided what the news was going to be. Yeah. Why do we have to add gate to everything, though? I don't know. I mean, I guess it was Watergate the first gate, and I then we just stuck with it? I, well, I mean, f football had the swinging gate, yeah. but I don't think that was anything uh, had to do with scandal about a swing. It's just funny that because it was called Watergate, yes. like that building right. has just inspired all of our... Uh, Right. Scandals for the rest of time. And it was the building. It's yeah. not like it was... A, no, it, it wasn't. The building wasn't called water. Gate didn't mean scandal yeah, back then. It wasn't a scandal about water. Yeah. Do you think there are kids <laughs> walking around today who think <laughs> yeah. that Nixon was kicked out of office because, because of, of something with water? With yeah. water. That was Chinatown. Chinatown <laughs> is a scandal <laughs> about right. water. 
Jake Giddis. Was yeah. The, yeah. So yeah. it was Giddis Gate. That yeah. didn't happen. Giddis Gate. That is, was not. It's very confusing. Giddis Gate is Chinatown, which is about water. Watergate is a building, not about right. H2O at all. And, and we could probably, with Kevin Bacon somewhere, connect Jack well, Nicholson. Well, he's in all of them. To, he's, yeah. Right. To, <laughs> to Chinatown. I've got Seth Myers here uh, right uh, on the Rich Eisen Show prior to the NFL Honors Award presentation he's hosting tomorrow night. Uh, so uh, will there be a Marshawn Lynch gag yeah. in the in – the, I don't want you to give Again, up too much. Here. No, I mean, but, like, you know, it's – we sort of – when you start thinking about the fact that you're going to host the NFL Honors, the first thing you do is you sort of go through the year. Sure. And you pull out the players that are sort of exceptional, the guys who are going to be in the audience, the mm -hmm. things everybody remembers. And then for this close to the Super Bowl to sort of have two late-breaking stories that I think – are both, you know, fun to poke fun of. Sure. Uh, like Marshawn and like Deflategate, uh, that can only be good. I mean, the only downside is they've been so raked over. I mean, which is something you find in comedy now, just because of Twitter in general. Like everyone right. has made so many of these jokes, it's trying to come up with ones that haven't been made yet. So, what what if politicians took a page out of Marshawn Lynch, right? Yeah. That the president steps up or somebody and says, "I'm just, you know." I'm just here so I don't get fined or just take the approach of, I know what y'all are here for. Well, here's the difference. If Harry Reid did that. I and mean, this is why, like, I really, because Marshawn Lynch, I think, is great. Yes. I'm so happy with everything he's doing. And the idea that people say, like, you know, they're supposed to, part of the reason you get paid is to talk to the press. Like, no one, in, when we talk about the draft, no one ever says, great with the press. <laughs> That's never listed as a reason. You know, he's fourth round talent, yeah. great with the press. Yeah. I think he's going to be middle second round. That pushes him up the boards. Yeah. yeah, like it's not a thing that anyone in the Seattle Seahawks organization, other than the headache of having to deal with the attention, sure. you know, like Marshawn Lynch does his job. A politician's job, of course, is to talk to people. So right. they can't, I mean, I'd love it if they stopped just because they don't really say anything. They anything. don't say anything anyway. Politicians ultimately are saying a different version of we just want to get out there and play hard. That's it. Yeah, you know, it is so, what it is. Yeah, no one, yeah. The economy is what it is. <laughs> right. Gas prices are what they are. That would be fantastic. Seth Myers is here on, on the Rich Eisen Show. Now, you, you made uh, a passing reference to your feelings about the Patriots. Yeah. And that is because of your Steelers. Steelers. And it's love. out of, you know, I the reason I dislike the Patriots are the Patriots are an excellent football team. Like, mm -hmm. this should not be something that would offend the good people of New England, of whom I am one. i just not one that That's roots right. for the Patriots. But, uh, you know, and I'm always a very, uh, I feel like I always root for whatever protects the Steelers' legacy the most. So the fact that now the Patriots have been in eight Super Bowls, oh. I don't love that. Yeah. But then on the other side, you know, a lot of people are saying if the Seahawks win this, do they have the best defense of all time? I don't love that. No. So it's a real tough one for it's me. It's a lose-lose for you, yeah. Seth. It's a lose-lose. If you think about it. Yeah, but hopefully it'll be a great game. Maybe what you should do is go uh, uh, and take some air out of some footballs yeah. and see what happens. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. and then we can, tr we can just point it back to you, and then you could have, it will it be Myers Gate or Seth Gate? It would be Seth, Seth Gate. Seth Gate right? Meyer, Myers the two Jakes. <laughs> just move it all together. <laughs> yeah. I love the mash mashups that we're doing right now. So what, what do you think of the Steelers uh, this year moving forward and your team? I mean, it was chances? certainly nice to be back at the playoffs. It was t uh, uh, Le'Veon Bell getting hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, losing to the Ravens is probably the only thing that's worse than losing to the Patriots, so mm -hmm. that was uh, rough. But um, certainly the right direction. It's weird to root for a Steelers team that's so um, potent in offense. Right. It's, uh, it was sort of a different thing this year. And who, who, who might you fanboy tomorrow night? Because I know you're, a fo you're an NFL fan. And Franco's gonna... there. Is he I've really? never met Franco, so that's pretty exciting for me. That is it. That's the one. And that's my favorite thing about going to a game in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. is when you arrive at the airport, it's there the are two statues in the airport. One of George Washington mm -hmm. because of what he did, I guess, what, in the French-Indian yeah. War? He, right. he, he defended Pittsburgh. And then it's Franco. Franco doing the Immaculate uh, Reception yes. pose. And um, I have it on good authority of my eyeballs that I've never seen anyone taking a picture with the George Washington. <laughs> There's never, never anyone like, oh, here, here. And maybe there, there should be more fans of the father of our country. You would think. You would well, think, again, right? if it was up to Pittsburgh, Franco would be on the one. By the way, could you, <laughs> he would be on the one. Yeah. Terry would be on the five. Uh, yeah. Noel on the 20. So uh, could you imagine if there was instant replay, high-definition television, and yeah. Twitter for the Immaculate Reception? Could you imagine what that would have been like? It would have been incredible. I mean, because the craziest thing about the Immaculate Reception is there really isn't a great shot. Yes. Like, you still don't, there's, no, there's not that indisputable evidence. Yeah, the grassy knoll footage is yeah, more nothing, high definition yeah. than, than the Immaculate Reception. Because now you would have to think if there's any other footage, we would have it We would have now. it by now, right? Yeah. We would. 
hey, have a great time. Thank you. I'm looking forward night. to it. I, those things are always really fun. They are fun, and I'm looking forward to your rendition of it. Thank you. You bet. And I look forward to being your guru, sir. All right, we'll see you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.